Hello, Core 3 Beauties. This is Marcos, and this is our Week 12 to 13 Recap Briefing video. So I just want to go through what we're um, in the middle of doing because we have a short week coming up, and I want to make sure everyone uh, understands what it is uh, you should be working on and have a clear idea of how to be putting your projects together so that we can have the best success for our finals in December. So let's dive into this. Um, here's our workflow for the coming week. Um, basically, the objective now is that you should be furthering your, uh, your initial design concepts that you've developed this week on both or either of your digital or analog projects and uh, further them along in, in uh, a really uh, sort of aggressive way to start to develop both pieces or one piece. Um, we talked. We talked about the idea that everyone now is sort of taking their project on in the way that works best for them, based on what it is your challenges are. Uh, so there isn't no right or wrong way to start this in terms of should you do the digital pieces first, should you do the analog work first. It's really just a matter of like what what it is that's kind of suiting you. I suspect it might be kind of doing a little bit of both at the same time. And then focusing on one so you can build up your content and then transferring that content to the other. But the key here really is going to be about scheduling, timing, and, and discipline towards doing your work because we have a short week. It's going to be Thanksgiving on Thursday, a long weekend that could be either really productive in terms of work or it could be really productive in terms of rest and relaxation and enjoyment outside of schoolwork. And um, that could tend to maybe put you either ahead caught up or potentially and most worrisome behind when um, the following week starts and we're staring December and then uh, looking at just a few weeks before the finals. So I want to just encourage everyone to really assess your schedule, think about uh, what you have to be doing and knowing that both of these pieces are pretty significant and it's kind of a tall order um, to be making these both these pieces in a substantial way, like we're being asked to, and and deliver them at your, you know, at the quality that we all want to see. Um, so let's think about that. Um, and then next week our, on our schedule on the Tuesday that we will be meeting class, we are having, as we talked about, we're having our cross cohort design reviews, and um, and I think that's actually great. You know, it's like we get a chance to uh, do a little uh, visiting with our neighbors. Uh, we get to you know, maybe meet some new people or um, for sure review our projects with people who are new, who had seen the work and um, kind of looking forward to that. And then again, Thursday, we're off. And um, and for Thanksgiving, like, of course, I want you guys to to be um, in a festive mood that day to to get some rest, to catch up, you know, on your sleep. Uh, to, and if you're if you're going to see your family, great spend time with your family, maybe have a friend's giving if you're here, you know, plan something that will get you to uh, to, to have a little bit of a pause from, from the everyday um, routine and the stresses that we all are facing at the end of the semester here. Uh, and, you know, and, and, and think about what you're thankful for, like gratitude as we're learning in this class is more than a thank you slide at the end. It is that for sure, but it's also a way of being and a way that I want you guys to to hold as an important attribute for yourselves. Like be grateful for the big things, be grateful for the small things, know where you came from, know where you're going and be in the moment, uh, enjoying your lives the best way possible. So be a little bit big picture this Thursday and, and think about Thanksgiving in, a, in that kind of like beautiful way. All right, so outside of that, that time you spend, I would highly suggest that the rest of the weekend be dedicated to doing as much work as possible while still resting, while still enjoying. But I think um, it probably goes without saying that it's going to be a little difficult to just see it as a great four-day weekend. I would highly suggest that you guys really find the time to put into your work. And I also want to participate in that. You know, like if you need um, feedback, if you want to send me an email, to review your work. If you want to set something up, I will take the time to do that. Not on Thursday, but on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Um, if you want to like do a one-on-one -on -one review meeting on Zoom, I'm happy to do that. Um, 
But more importantly, I think it should be a time for each of you to kind of put your heads down and 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 focus on this project and in an exciting way, not in a like drud drudgery kind of way, because you guys have great ideas. You've got really uh, just insightful concepts about issues in the world and, and how design can make a difference. And and I, I think that that was almost like the hard part in a way. And we've done the hard part of conceiving a brand, creating an identity for it. And now it's just a matter of like bringing those those attributes, uh, those design inspirations to life in these pieces that you're doing. So just it's got to be critical that you spend the time and put the focus into it, because I know I just know from what you guys have already done that you have the ability to make incredible pieces. And the enemy we have faced now is time and, and um, focus and putting the work into it. So let's make sure you don't squander the time um, and that you are as productive as possible. All right, I'm starting to nag a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just look at a little bit bigger picture in terms of um, where we are in the schedule. More and more of the weeks are darkening. Design student Sally has wandered over to week 13 and she's uh, marching towards our our class on the 21st for our cross cohort critique. And again, as we talked about, uh, this is gonna be a good chance to uh, just to share your work with some new, get some new perspective, uh, get some positive feedback. And also the other side of it is you're gonna be giving feedback. You're gonna be looking at uh, projects from one or two or three people and um, being able to be a helpful. So I think um, the key to this is that we are not just receiving help and getting uh, things that will allow us to, to do better, but we're also giving. And if we give help, if we give encouragement, uh, if we give design direction, then it's only gonna be beneficial. It won't only be beneficial for the person you give it to, but it'll be beneficial to you too as well. It'll come around in, in a way for sure and help you uh, on your own. And, and so keep your keep your eyes and ears open for like, how you can do your projects better from the critique you get, but also think about what you're saying back to somebody. It might apply to you as well. Thursday, we're on Thanksgiving break. So when we come back on week eight, we're gonna have basically two more weeks to work on it with the third week being the final presentation. So there might be a, a little bit of panicking going on. I think I might need to move the weeping emojis, at least one of them up to week 14 and maybe another one up to week 15 because that's when, that's when it's gonna come down to really needing to, um, be focused. So again, put the time in you can right now while you have it. Um, and uh, and on week 14, the strategy right now is for the class to be broken up into uh, two half classes. And I'll encourage everyone to for sure, obviously come to the, the day that you're scheduled to come on and we'll base it on last schedule. So whatever day you were, you'll be on that same day again. But um, I also want to encourage you to come to both classes and not necessarily um, not present both classes, but to to be there in an environment of of reviews and uh, give feedback or just work quietly while while um, others are presenting. Um, but whether you do that or whether you um, stay in your own space, uh, it's going to be critical that you use the time. Again, I'm preaching. Use the time to do your projects. Uh, I know there's lots of concerts and there's things that you can be doing and uh, get togethers and the holiday spirits in the air, but you gotta, we gotta keep working. So use the time to work on your project. Um, a week after that, right now we have scheduled some small group reviews on the first Tuesday uh, of the first Tuesday of December. And then on the seventh, um, we're going to have uh, one last day before finals. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm putting that right now as one-on-one -on -one reviews but we can um, discuss that if something is more productive, but it seems like that'd be a good time to give you guys just pure time to work with a little bit of feedback for me in a meeting that we set up. All right, and then hopefully those three weeping emojis will be weeps of joy, you know, and, and uh, you'll be really in a good place for week 16. So final presentation reviews right now. What I'm thinking about is um, what I've done in the past is had, um, had reviews that involved bringing in guest critiquers strangers from outside the class to come and look at your work. And that has always been super great and, and super important in terms of, of the learning process, because we're all familiar with each other. We're all looking at each other's work. That's a great thing. But I think uh, we need to get clubbed with reality and with reality, meaning 
What is it you'll be doing in, as a professional? How will you be using your design skills? And beyond making and conceiving and creating, presenting is a big part of this. And presenting to scary strangers, unfortunately or fortunately, is part of what we have to do as we uh, work as design professionals. And I think it's going to be really good for us to uh, have to start from scratch and explain the work we're doing to somebody who doesn't know anything about it, but who does know about the industry or, or design or creativity in some way. So I'm going to put together um, a group of my friends who are uh, professionals as well, who um, can provide feedback. But in doing that, um, and also in the challenge of having so many people in such long presentations, what I've done in the past is I've made this last session um, a Zoom meeting that um, will allow us to have breakout rooms so that the whole class will meet. And then we will break up into like three groups, maybe four. And um, that will allow for more time to be spent on giving presentations and um, will allow for feedback to be longer and just will make it work in general. Also, it will help for any of those who would leave class before Tuesday because of they have uh, issues with getting tickets to get home or whatever. So that, that will allow for people to participate. And what I might do for those of you who really um, want and appreciate real-time presentations, maybe make one of the groups be in class uh, so that one group is in class and the other groups are on Zoom or something like that. I'm not quite sure yet. We Let's talk about that next time we're in class because I want to hear your feedback. So please speak up next time when I bring this up if you have opinions about this um, and we'll talk about it. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, remind ourselves here about what we're going to be doing. So for the cro cross cohort critique, we're going to have to be in, in two parts of class and um, we're going to have our hosts and we're going to have our envoys. And um, we talked about who's going to be there and this is the list that we can change it if needed, but basically we just got to split in two. Um, and um, remember those of you, both of you, those going, those envoys and hosts, the important thing is you don't embarrass the family. When we have strangers visiting us, be polite, uh, be thoughtful, be attentive, and give good feedback and represent us well, make us proud, I know you will. Um, and uh, for this week, it's, a, it's really just a matter of each of you managing your time, each of you making progress, working in the best way you can, as we talked about, whether it's on both your pieces, focusing on one, whatever you do, all I'm asking is you do a week's worth of work. And by the end of your week, whether it's Wednesday before you head home or whether it's Friday, at some point, load up your, your progress and put it on the new Google Drive, uh, which is um, part six, design development, and just have that sort of check-in deck so that we can monitor your, you know, we can not monitor, but we can keep, track of the work you're doing so that when the A-making machine is putting out the A's, it will see that you have been do doing work each week, making progress, and it will can go faster and make that A bigger, stronger, and shinier. Um, and then while you're down here, make sure you check out the Spooky Beauties party picks if you haven't seen those yet. Um, okay, so remember, this Tuesday, we're having our cross-cohort critique, and uh, be ready to share your progress on your... Um, and obviously on your final project, not the previous ones. It's it's not a matter of show showing a finished product. It's a matter of getting feedback. So remember, you're gonna you're gonna meet with one individual, and then when you're done, try to meet with another or maybe two more. Um, but you're going to be telling the story of your work from the very beginning. And let's also remember that they might not be doing the project in the same way that we did. We had this whole like design for good thing. We had this whole create a brand, identify an issue, create a brand and then make the pieces for them, they might not be doing it that way. So uh, make sure you explain your process and the fact that we had the assignment structured in this way. Um, and also just remember, they don't know anything about your project and they haven't been checking in like we have. So tell the story of your work and then ask for some feedback. Um, and also remember, just because you get feedback doesn't mean you got to listen to it. Like take the feedback in, but then critically analyze it and decide whether it's of any use or whether it should just be like cast aside. Um, and of course, check with me because I'm the ultimate feedback um, if there's something you're not quite sure that you want to do or not. Um, but represent yourself well. Be as shiny, as beautiful as our two friendly emojis right here. All right, guys. So that's it for this week. And we will see you all on Tuesday. Get lots done.